Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Here are the three theories and definitions of intelligence. Thorndike Stimulus Response Theory, Thurston's Multiple Factors Theory of Intelligence, and Cato's Theory on Fluid and Crystallized Intelligence. Thorndike Stimulus Response Theory 1920s Edward Thorndike, an American psychologist from 1874 to 1949, and his students used objective measurements of intelligence on human subjects as early as 1903. During the 1920s, he developed a multifactored test of intelligence that considered of completion, arithmetic, vocabulary, and directions test, or CAVD. The logic behind the CAVD test eventually became the foundation of modern intelligence test. Thorndike drew an important distinction among three broad classes of intellectual functioning. Abstract intelligence that is measured by standard intelligence test. Mechanical intelligence which is the ability to visualize relationships among objects and understand how the physical world works. And social intelligence which is the ability to function successfully in interpersonal situations. He proposed that abstract intelligence has four dimensions, namely attitude or the complexity of difficulty of task one can perform, width or the variety of task of a given difficulty, area which is the function of width and attitude, and speed which is the number of tasks one can complete in a given time. Thorndike is cited for his work on what he considered as the two most basic intelligences, trial and error and stimulus response association. His proposition stated that stimulus response connections that are repeated are strengthened while those that are not used are weakened. The next one is Thurston's Multiple Factors Theory of Intelligence, 1938. Louis L. Thurston was an American psychometrician from 1887 to 1955 who studied intelligence tests and tests of perception through factor analysis. His theory stated that intelligence is made up of several primary mental abilities rather than a general factor and several specific factors. His multiple factors theory of intelligence identified the seven primary mental abilities as verbal comprehension, word fluency, number facility, spatial visualization, associative memory, perceptual speed, and reasoning. He developed the test of primary mental abilities in 1938. Thurston discovered later on that the abilities are not completely independent of one another. Instead, there were modus correlations among the abilities. Thurston was among the first to propose and demonstrate that there are numerous ways in which a person can be intelligent. His multiple factors theory has been used in the development of intelligence tests that yield a profile of the person's performance in each of the seven primary mental abilities. And Cato's theory on fluid and crystallized intelligence. Raymond B. Cato, a British-American psychologist from 1905 to 1998, theorized that there are two types of intelligence. Fluid intelligence is essentially nonverbal and relatively culture-free. Fluid intelligence involves adaptive and new learning capabilities related to mental operations and processes on capacity, decay, selection, and storage of information. This type of intelligence is more dependent on the physiological structures or parts of the brain that are responsible for intellectual behavior. It increases until adolescence, then goes through a plateau and begins to gradually decline with the degeneration of the brain's physiological structures. Crystallized intelligence develops through the exercise of fluid intelligence. It is a product of the acquisition of knowledge and skills that are strongly dependent upon exposure to culture. It is related to mental products and achievements and highly influenced by formal and informal educational factors through the lifespan. Crystallized intelligence continues to increase through middle adulthood.